Thank you. All right, so do you remember this? You remember this or no? You remember this yes. conversation from yesterday? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Um. All right. So this was a conversation between Robert and Tom. What was Robert's problem? What was Robert's problem? That the sales were down. Mm hmm. Exactly. The sales were down. Okay. And what did um, what did Robert suggest that Tom do? them into a new advertise campaign. Can you repeat that? Implementing a new advertising campaign. Um yes, uh-huh. Very good. Um what else? Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. well, we, our current plan. Sorry? Um, evaluate our current plan, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let, let's see. Um, let's underline. So basically there are three things, okay? Um, imp oh, sorry, let me change that. Okay, um, so implement a new advertising campaign. What else? What else? Evaluate, evaluate the current plan and monitor yes. the front Good. cells. Good. Evaluate our, the current plan and monitor. Monitor? What? Our front what? cell. Mm -hmm. Front mm -hmm. cell assistance. Good. Okay. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay. So those are pretty much the, the three things that Tons has to do. What does Robert mean by organizing things better? What does he mean by that? A different view of the uh, things in the store, I think. So could you repeat that? Uh, new order, uh, move the things in a different position. Okay. Different view. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So move, um, move things in to a different position so that they, um, yeah. So like physically, right? So they're physically in a different position. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Does that make sense? Any questions? No. No, so far. No, it's all clear? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is um, 
we're going to look at this vocabulary here. Okay, so we have the the different nouns of things that you know uh, of like a supervisor um, has to do, a manager has to do. Um, let's make this a little bit bigger. Sorry. Oh. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have these, these verbs. We have implement, monitor, evaluate, plan, and organize. And what I need you to do is match them with the definition, with the correct definition. So we have the definitions is arrange production workforce training and resources to achieve goals or objectives. Then we have to check, supervise, watch, or keep track of a process. The process of putting a decision or plan into effect, reviewing and assessing the success of the, of the goal, the plan and the allocation of the employees and their resources. Uh, and process that identifies the goals or objectives uh, to be achieved and the strategies to achieve them. Okay, so do you have um, any questions about the vocabulary or about the pronunciation? Uh, maybe the first word uh, and ranking, I guess. You said the correct pronunciation, arranging production. Ar okay, arranging. arranging no, arranging. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what is the meaning. Oh, you don't know what the meaning is. Arranging means to make an arrangement, to make plans. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. To make plans. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, it's all clear. Okay, perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm going to uh, send you guys this. You you should already have this in in your um, from your manual, but uh, just so that you guys just to make things a little bit easier for you. What I'll do is I will um, take a screenshot of this, and then I want you to work with a partner and you're going to um, complete it and we'll be checking the answers together as a class. Okay, so... But, eh, necesito estar segura de que, de que ustedes en realidad estén en clase por muchas razones, entre ellos ahorita, por ejemplo, que yo no sé eh, quiénes están en clase para poder ponerlos um, con, a trabajar con alguien más, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, voy a necesitar que... Um, que ustedes enciendan sus cámaras. Ok, so, um, let's see. Ok, eh, Edwin Antonio. Yes, teacher. Ok, um, so, 
do you are you having problems with the with your camera? Sorry, now I have a problem with my connection, and if I turn on my camera, uh, I lost the signal. Oh, you lose the signal. Okay, I see. Okay, all right, no problem. Um, all right, Abigail Donia. Abigail, Abigail Bonilla, ¿usted está en clase? Hola, Abigail, no está en clase entonces. Ok, va. Uh, let me read the rooms then. Ricardo, uh, will you be participating? Ricardo Ernesto? Uh, I think that no, because I'm still working. I, I have a lot of work, sorry. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm going to put you in a room where you will not, uh, you will not be with anybody then. Um, okay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start right now. Let's open up the rooms. Okay. Uh, you can see the okay. Okay. Uh, can you see the chart? Maybe oh, yes. Yes. Maybe it's okay. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, we can check the uh, yeah, relationship there. The about the concept the and description. Okay. Uh, the one the is word. a running product, uh, workforce training, and resource sure. to achieve five goals. Objectives. Maybe I think maybe it's a plan. I don't know what do you think. Okay, professional workforce training resource. Mm. Or organize. Maybe organize. Yes. Okay. And the second one, we check super piece, watch and keep track of the process. Of a process. Maybe it's monitoring. No, maybe monitoring. Maybe, maybe evaluate. Keep track. Huh? Yes. Uh, or keep track, maybe it's for that. Yes. Okay. Right. Two. Okay. Three is the process of putting a decision or plan into effect. Maybe this is implement. I believe it, but I don't know. What do you think? 
or plan into effect with your um Maybe monitor. Wow, that was really harsh because you cannot buy whatever you want. There's a catalog, and so you have to vote what they want to sell. Yeah. And it's more complicated because you cannot do it with your money whatever you want. So you can buy one dollar by one US mining. That's seven hundred and fifty five dollars. Yeah, yeah it's difficult yeah. because it's virtual. Yeah. 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 It, the idea is good, but I believe we are not <laughs> ready for that. We have to study and, and know the 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 old rules about virtual coin, I think. Yeah, some interesting. I recommend yeah. you to read something about mm -hmm. that because I believe in a sure yeah. future that's gonna be launched. But is it is it the Salvador. future? No worries, is it the future? Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, we... when you have a good time, you can try it. Yeah. US mind. US mind. Okay. I going yes. to I going to look in the internet. Maybe they have an information. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, uh, we have to we have to match in the and the, the meaning, yes. We finally teach Sorry, can you repeat that? Excuse me? Can you repeat that? Uh, we finally we finished. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Uh, we'll check. We'll check together in a moment. Okay. 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 Abigail. Se encuentro sin clase. Okay. Um, all right, guys. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to check uh, the answers. I think everybody is finished or should be finished. Um, you, Sus? You see that? Can you see it or no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we can see. We can see. Okay. Perfect. All right. So if I tell you implement, which one of these does it mean implement? Uh 
I was talking with Carlos and we think is the number three. You think it's number three, okay. What do the rest of you think? Do you agree with that or do you not agree with that? I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree with Carlos. And I do agree as well. Very good. So it would be number three. Okay, good. Monitor. What does it mean to monitor? To check, to provide. Yeah, number two. Number two. Do you all agree it's number two, or do you have another idea? Yes, I agree. I agree. You agree? To check. Yes. I, I believe that is yes, I number four. You think it's number four? Yes, I think it's number four, too. You think it's number four? Number four. Because uh, uh, reviewing and assisting. Mm. Number two. Yeah. Monitor. Monitor? Yes. Would definitely be number two. Okay. Monitor. To check, supervise, watch, or keep track of a process. To monitor. So monitor is to, well, like in Spanish, right? Monitoriar, right? So, so it means that you're going to be constantly looking for something, right? Evaluate. Number four, reviewing and assessing to success of the goal, the plan, and the allocation of the employees and their resources. You agree? For me, I think that mm -hmm. is organized. To be honest, uh, with Carlos, we thought is the number five. The process that identifies the goals or objectives to be achieved and the strategies to achieve them. But <laughs> we weren't sure about that. Mm. Number four. Okay, so evaluate. Uh, let's 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 put it into context. When do you evaluate? Do you evaluate before or after you create the process? After. After. It's after. Yeah, it's after. You, exactly. It's after. Okay. Um. So, if you evaluate after, then you then you already have to know the, what are the goals and objectives. You should already know that because you can't evaluate if something was able to be achieved if you don't know what the goals or objectives are. Okay? okay. So what's clear? Thank you. So then what would be the answer? Um, the number four? Number four. Yes, exactly. Four. Exactly. It's number four. Okay. Which is reviewing and assessing. Actually, um, evaluate and assess are two, let's say they are like almost synonyms. Not exactly the same, but they're almost synonyms. Okay. So evaluate um, and assess are very, very similar. Okay, plan. I think will be uh, number five. Number five? Yes. Yeah, yeah I agree. Five. I agree. Yes. Yes, it's number five. And I agree too. So, the process that identifies the goals or objectives to be achieved and the strategies to achieve them. So to be able to um, to get anywhere, we need to make we need to create a plan. But we can't make a plan 
unless we know first what the goals and objectives are, right? So that's what we have to start with. We have to start with the goals and objectives. And then from there, we can start planning. And organize. This one should be difficult. <laughs> Fires. Yeah, organize. Actually, the word organize is a synonym of arrange. Organize and arrange. Okay, so arranging production and workforce training and resources to achieve goals or objectives. So basically, after you identify a goal, then you can so you can yeah. you can put the you you can make the arrangements mm -hmm. to achieve the goals and objectives. But first, you have to identify them. So first, you plan, then you organize. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, what's the what's the first thing you got to do if we're going to put these processes in order? What's the first thing you got to do? Is the plan plan exactly? Yeah. First, you got to plan, right? Then organize. 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 Right. Then you organize. Once you know what the goals and objectives are, you can organize. Next. Implement. Implement. Yeah. Put it into practice, in other words, right? What we already um, organize, let's put it into practice. Next. Monitor. Monitor. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Next, we monitor. Right. Evaluate. And finally, evaluate. we evaluate. Evaluate means to uh, decide if something is successful or not. All right. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Perfect. Let's stop sharing. And I'm going to share this. OK, so again, we're looking at this vocabulary of organize, monitor, implement, evaluate, and plan. So here we have the different responsibilities, OK? Um, for each one of these, and you're just gonna categorize them. You're gonna say which one is organized, which one is monitor, which is implement, which one is evaluate, and which one is plan. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. All right, good. So I'm going to, just like the, the one before, I'm going to be sending you through the WhatsApp the the image and we'll check in a moment i'm going to um i'm going to put you back into the same group as before okay so i'm gonna have it's gonna be the exact same people okay i'm just gonna change the time because that shouldn't take you very long i'm only gonna give you about two minutes to do this it's not gonna take you too too long Okay, I'm open the rooms right now. Carlos, 
Yo sé que tienen un WhatsApp group. I can hear you. You are in mute. I don't know, I did, I, the, the WhatsApp group, please moment, I check. You are not in the WhatsApp group. I don't know. Um, you should be there. So, someone of the English Corporativo should be send you something in WhatsApp and you join to the group. Yes, the problem is, uh, I don't know, uh, it's not correct and incorporate in the platform uh, and the web zoom and in the uh, um, Okay, but the teacher is here. Um, oh. Jessica, teacher. Yes, I, yes, I. Yes, what do you need? Um, Carlos has, has a problem. And he is not in the WhatsApp group. I think he is in the different group, and he don't have the the image the image that you send in the WhatsApp group. Carlos, you received an email from Inglés Corporativo. Carlos, did you receive a, an email from Inglés Corporativo? Yes, teacher. Uh... Uh, in this moment, uh, already I did me. Sorry? Yes, teacher. And in this moment, uh, already I did me. Uh, you are 644-1265. That is your number, phone. 6445-1265? Yes, it's a correct. Okay. I will resend the, the image to the group and check it. Okay. Thank you. And the activity is we have to organize what is the correct uh -huh, category for each okay. square. Um, goals and objective for promotion. Uh, develop plans or for promotions, I think may could be the plan, the first one. Set goals and objectives, develop plans. Yes, plan. That's one, communicating plans to employees, discussing and reporting process of the strategic plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excuse me, mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. Will be organized. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Or mm -hmm. implement. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me see. And number two, implement. I was checking the third category, prepare the staff training manuals, create an employee training program, and that it's implement. Yes. The second one could be organized. The number, the number, number three, implement. Okay. Implement. Okay. And the next one is develop an evaluation from to assess customer service, create disciplinary and termination procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. um, you communicate you communicate what you planned so you you do 
what you plant with your uh, stuff. Uh -huh. and, and we organize with all the, uh, the requirements that we have to do in advance and then we have to interview. Yes. I and live when... like that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the fourth is is obviously develop an evaluation yes. to a evaluation form to assess customer service. Yes, the last one is all is all it's easy. It's an easy one. The last one we use employee work in process in progress on a regular basis. Keep track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we have to check. The, the the new employees. But I have a doubt. With? We, we also, uh, I don't know, for the second one, uh, keep track. Yes. 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 It, it's it. part of the monitoring. <laughs> I got confused. You have to watch for them. Yeah. What what are they doing to don't make mistakes? Yeah. It is correct. So we finish. Yeah. Okay, you guys are finished? Uh yes, yeah. miss. Okay. I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. I'm going to do this one because I do not keep Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, we are going to check the answers. Okay. Um, um, let me see. So the first one is set goals and objectives, develop plans for promotions. Um, it's planned. You... you say it's planned? Plan, yes. Plan. Yes. For yes. Plan picture. Everybody agrees it's planned? Yes, plan. yes I agree. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Good. Excellent. Uh, communicating plans to employees, discussing reporting progress of a strategic plan. Organized. What do you guys think? I think it's implement. What do you guys think? I'm not sure yes. about it. 
will be implement? I believe that is uh, organized. Organized. Because you need communicate first plan for next give a training, I believe. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Tell me. It was very confusing to me. Uh -huh. and the third one. What? The second one uh, and the third one, it was very confusing to me. Uh -huh. Because I don't know, for me, uh, we prepare the training before that we communicate and execute. So for me, the second one, is implement, but I have some doubts about it. Um, okay, so I think the key here, notice this is here, discussing and reporting progress. Okay, notice it says here, reporting progress. If you're going, to, re if you're going to be reporting progress of a strategic plan, so what are we doing here? Evaluating. Evaluating? Um, Implement. So evaluating means that, um, hold on, give me a moment. Give me a second. Um, yeah, so I want you to notice the 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 form of the verbs that we have here. So communicating, reporting, discussing, reporting. These are things that, um, that are not finished. They, they, um, it's in progress. Mm -hmm, it's in we progress. are really doing in this moment. Mm -hmm. So that means that we're implementing some plans there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we continue to do something, it means that we're implementing what we have gone ahead and planned. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. OK. So we didn't so we didn't just do something and it finished and we continue to do it because we're implementing whatever ever notice that implementing um it's something that continues to happen like even after we evaluate something we continue implementing the thing that we have now decided to change right it's not like we implement and then we evaluate and then it stops. We start we stop implementing. No, the the implement the implementing 
the process continues. It's 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 always in progress there. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Prepare a staff uh, staff training manuals. Create an employee training program. Organize. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Organize. Yeah, so um yeah, we to be able to uh carry out the plan, we need to have trainings, right? Um and yes, definitely organize comes before implementing because we need to have in order to communicate what we're going to do, we need to have the trainings. Right. Does that make sense? Like the trainings are the way that we're going to be able to communicate to the employees what's going to happen. What they heard, what they have to do. Sounds good. Does that yes. make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go on to the next one. Develop an, an, an evaluation form to process um, customer service. Create disciplinary and determination uh, projects. Procedures, sorry. Mm -hmm. Evaluate. Evaluate. Mm -hmm. Evaluate. Okay. And in fact, the word evaluation is right there. And so it's pretty obvious that's what we're doing. Okay. And finally, review employees work in progress on a regular basis, regular basis. Keep track of what employees do. Monitor. Monitor. Yeah. Okay. This one is also another one that is ongoing, right? It doesn't stop. You, you continue monitoring. All right. Sounds good, everybody. Any questions? No question. It's clear. Thank you. Clear? Okay. Very good. Let's stop sharing. And we're going to go on to the next part. We're going to be looking at vocabulary that um, describes the, let's say, the, the tasks, the responsibilities that, um, or the competencies that a manager has. So we have develop, ensure, improve, identify, and motivate. Do we understand this vocabulary? The second one, I don't know what is the meaning, I'm sure. Mm. Okay, anybody I, I have an idea what is insure? And it's, no, we're not talking about the, the drink. <laughs> okay, it's not the insure drink. The milk. To yeah. make sure, sure of something. Mm? <laughs> make sure of something. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. To make sure about something. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Anything else? Uh, teacher, the definition uh, number two, the lines are bit. Uh, are you talking so you want the meaning of the deadlines yes okay all right so deadlines so where deadlines means when something needs to be finished so it's like the last date when something needs to be finished okay so let's say that um you know you have to you have to give a report to your boss. It, the deadline maybe will be Friday. So you have to give the, the deadline before Friday. It can be, be it can be any time before. It can even be on Friday, but not after Friday. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay, so I'll give you about two minutes to complete this, or one or two minutes. It shouldn't take you very long. And I think you can do it individually. So decide which verbs need to go in which, with which words. Basically the collocations. Okay, you finished? Yes. Could be. Yeah? Okay. All right. Let's start with the first one. What do you think? What's the answer? Identify, Identify. problems. Identify. Identify problems. Right. Yeah, we definitely don't want to develop problems, right? That would be a very bad thing if we want to develop problems. Okay, so identify problems. Next. Ensure, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, ensure. Ensure. Good. Ensure deadlines are met. Okay, so it means to make sure that you that you meet, that you are, that you comply with the deadlines. Okay. What you understand the word comply, right? Right. It's very similar to Spanish. Comply. Okay. Staff performance. Improve. 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 Right. Good. Improve staff performance. Okay. Staff. Motivate. Motivate. Yeah. Motivate. Good. Motivate staff. Motivate staff. And finally, develop. Mm. Develop creativity. Develop creativity. 
All right. Questions? No questions? No. No? Okay. So what I'm going to no questions. Great. So what I will do is ask you to be able to um make us a, a paragraph or you know, short paragraph, not a long one, maybe five sentences about what to describe your competencies at your work. So what do you have to do? Okay, what are what is your job description at your job? Okay, and include all of the things that you have to do. Okay, so I'll give you about five minutes to create a short paragraph, not very long, short paragraph about what you have to do at your workplace. Okay. Do we understand what to do? Yeah, do we understand what to do? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, all right. So I'll give you a, a few minutes then. So guys, just remember that we need to have your, your cameras on. You can ask me questions if you want.
Okay, about two more minutes. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Yes. Anybody need more time? Just just like a five five sentences about your describing what you do. So it's not very long. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put you guys into breakout rooms in small groups so you can share your your information with the rest of the class. All right? Sounds good? Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, here we go. Let's open. So, so, where did you say it, I think? Yes. Mm. Okay. Who is going to start? Uh, I understand that we have to create a report about our daily routine or something like that about our job. What do you exactly to do? Uh, create a report about all the activities that we 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 do in our job. I understand something like this. Maybe am I in a wrong way? I, I don't know. Juan Carlos, what do you understand? Uh, I understood that uh, we uh, identify the, the some responsibilities and something do you, uh, what do you do? Uh, about the job, for example, resource uh, problems, reporting, uh, uh, document the problems, uh, develop the geometry classes, I don't know. Mm -hmm. What happened, guys? What's the problem? Uh, I am processing information because I have a lot of responsibilities in my job that I don't find where I may I to start. <laughs> Just whatever, like the most important things. The most important is the attendance because if I don't doesn't take, I have a a discount. Yeah. <laughs> After that, I start the first thing that I do when I sit on the, the chair is 
turn off my computer and see if I have emails and respond to emails, yeah, because I I like to respond to the people as soon as possible because when you are a consumer and you request for something and you don't receive the information, that is a burden. That's a bad experience. So in my case, the first thing that I do is to turn on my computer, watch if I have any requests, if I have emails and ask them. Okay, is that is that that's all? Is that all? At the moment, this yeah. at the moment this is the. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. um, I don't. I saw clear. I we do to we to do. Talk about you have to write what your what your responsibilities at work were. Responsibilities. Yeah, your responsibilities at work. Oh, okay. Okay. Did you not finish? No, finish. Juan Carlos, did you finish? No, not yet. Okay. Necesitan decirme antes de que los mande a los grupos. Necesitan decirme, teacher, necesito más tiempo. Right? You need to tell me because if I don't know, I'll send you to the groups and then you won't. You don't do anything because you're not finished. So, and that kind of wastes our time. So please let me know. I can give you more time to, to finish the task, but you gotta let me know, okay? You gotta let me know that you need more time, okay? All right, so um, I'll get, I'll, I'm gonna go and, and look at it um, and visit the other groups. While I am visiting the other groups, you go ahead and finish what you have to do and then share with your group, okay? Sounds good? Okay, all right. Hello, Rafael Alexanders, Osman Atilio, Jorge Antonio, Abigail Bonilla, ¿están ustedes ahí? Hello, teacher, yes. Yes? Hello, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, Okay, so I, what happened? Are you guys finished already or what, what's going on? Are you finished or, or no? Hello, are you finished? No, teacher. Okay, what happened? And uh, but in my case, I don't know the activity. No, no comprehension, comprehension of the activity. You didn't understand the activity. Okay. I'm asking you. You didn't understand the activity. Osman, you didn't understand the activity? Yeah, teacher. Okay. And the others, 
Jorge Antonio, did you? What happened to you? Yes, in my, in my case, I have a, a, a little list for the, the different activities I make in my work. Okay. Okay. Did you share already? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. And Rafael? Rafael Alexander? Sorry. Um, I me levanté un momento porque tenía que responder una llamada de teléfono y, y no, no entendí la actividad. Uh -huh. Amiga, ¿y? This is listening. Hmm? Abigail, this is listening. Listener. Mm. No, I don't even think she's there. Yo creo que ella no está en clase. Um, yeah, I'm going to return everybody to the room, to the main room, okay? Okay, all right, I'm, I, I returned everybody to the main room because as I was going through the, visiting the groups, I realized that many of you are, are not finished or did not understand the instructions. So I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to switch for a, a short period of moment in Spanish because I really need to get this point across okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna change to spanish for a moment okay primero que nada es importantísimo que ustedes eh, entiendan las actividades que estemos haciendo entonces si usted por x o y motivo no entendió algo necesita preguntar porque Yo con gusto le ayudo, pero la única manera que le puedo ayudar es si usted me indica que necesita ayuda. De lo contrario, yo no, no puedo saber que no ha entendido, que, que necesita explicación más detallada, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. Eh, entonces, necesitan comunicarlo, ¿ok? Yo con gusto les ayudo, les explico, lo repito, etcétera, etcétera, pero sí necesito que me colaboren con eso, ¿verdad? Porque de lo contrario, lo que sucede es de que terminamos perdiendo tiempo, porque ahí está que los mandé a los grupos para que pudieran compartir lo que supuestamente habían hecho, pero cuando ya están en los grupos, dicen, no, yo no entendí qué hacer. Entonces, acabamos de perder tiempo mandándolos a los grupos cuando les pude haber dado ese tiempo para terminar y explicar lo que o me hecho explicar lo que tenían que hacer y, y después mandarlos entonces necesito que me colaboren mucho con eso ok lo segundo es de que eh, si no ha ten, si no ha terminado, o sea, si ha entendido lo que hay que hacer, pero simplemente no ha terminado, igual necesito que me digan, ¿verdad? Teacher, we need more time. I, I need more time. I have not finished. Y yo con gusto nuevamente les doy tiempo, pero aquí necesito comunicación, ¿verdad? Eso es lo importante. Necesito que ustedes se comuniquen, me digan, teacher, no entendí, teacher, no, eh, explíquese otra vez, teacher, um, etcétera, etcétera. O sea, necesito comunicación de ustedes. 
¿ok? Y así con gusto podemos nosotros irles ayudando para que puedan tener éxito en el grupo. O sea, eh, mi, mi idea es eso, que, o sea, el, mi propósito es que ustedes sean exito, exitosos en el curso. Pero para que eso suceda necesitamos tener esa comunicación, ¿ok? ¿Estamos? Understood. Yes. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, what you're doing, I'm going to repeat the instruction again. Right now, you are writing, okay? You are writing in your, in your notebook or in your, um, in your cell phone, whatever it is you write, but write down what are the obligations, the tasks, the responsibilities that you have at your work? For example, for me, my responsibilities, I have to prepare classes. I have to give the classes. Then I have to upload the, um, I have to upload the videos. I have to um, transfer your grades to the documents. And then I have to make a report of your grades. Yeah, so those are some of my responsibilities as a teacher. What are your responsibilities? So a short paragraph, four or five sentences explaining what you do, what are your responsibilities at work? Is that clear or do you need more, more explanation? Clear. Um, it's clear, clear for me. It's clear, Miss. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So I'm going to give you once again, I'll give you about two, three minutes to finish because I think we weren't able to finish. Some of you weren't able to finish. So I'll give you two, three minutes. Okay. Um, teacher, mm -hmm. I know some people is writing the paragraph right now, but I don't know if it's necessary the whole people are here and if you can send the rest of us off to the breakout rooms and get some chat with others to uh, improve the listening and speaking with others. No, we could do that. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Um... Okay, so the, the only way... Mm. For me, it's okay, the, the same group that, that we already were. Let me try to figure out how I can do this because the problem is that I can't exactly send people to breaker rooms and others not. I would it's always... random. Um, I could I could send you the same groups, but I would send everybody to the groups. I can't just have like some people uh, in the groups okay, okay, and then okay, some okay, people okay. in the main room. Does that make sense? Yes, I yes I I understand you. Okay. So what I could mm, let me see how I could do this. Uh, 
I guess the only thing that that I could do was is open up the groups again and the people that need more time, you could just simply not join the groups or if it automatically sends you to the group, you can go, you can log out and then log back in and they will send you to the main, to the main room. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'll, I'll keep you in the main room. Okay. If you need more time, I'll keep you in the main room. Okay. Sounds good. Everybody understands good. what we're doing. So if you're not no. finished, if you need more time, stay in the main room. Okay. Don't join the groups. Okay. Thank All you. right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Here we go. Eh, Jose Salvador. Wendy, eh, usted, do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Wendy. Do you need more time? Or are you finished? Okay, estoy en eso, teacher. So you're you're completing it. Okay, no problem. And Jose, you also need more time, right? Yes. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Finish off. I will be here uh, to help you.
Oh, so far, though. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, are you having you? Did you say you were having problems with the camera? I I am using my cell phone. Is a little bad. It's a little bad. What do you mean? It's a little bad. What do you mean it's a little bad, Jose? No sirve mucho. Ah, no sirve. Okay. Okay, I understand. Um... Okay, uh, we're almost gonna, everybody else is almost gonna come back, so. All right. Okay, so would somebody like to share your paragraph about your responsibilities? Can somebody share with us? Me? Okay, all right, go ahead, Eliana. Okay. I'm currently the head of quality at Fruit of the Loom Company. I'm in charge of ensuring the quality of the garments that we produce. Then I have to motivate the staff of auditors that are in charge of me. I have to improve the quality of those products that are not achieving the quality goal. And I have to identify and resolve mechanic and method problems to correct them. And I have to develop new styles, revision methods, and a specification. Wow. You've got a lot of things to do, Elena. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Bravo. I tell, her, I tell her the same. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh, by the way, Elena, would you be so kind to change your name? Because right now you just appear as Elena Carpio. So okay. I need you to change. To, yeah, 
if you guys okay. if you can do that and i'm so sorry i don't know what's going on but the file doesn't seem to be available right now as to for the attendance um so at the end of the class i'll do what i'll do is i will mention the people that i do see in the class and then you'll just say present and that way we'll have it record in the video that you were there okay okay um good anybody else want to share me teacher okay go ahead jorge well in my case um i have a a little busy day uh, uh, well, in the morning, I start with a review, the result of the period of the previous day. And then I plan the different activities for the day. Well, in my case, I am a production manager. I work in a factory and we make a different clothes for the children. Um, then when I plan the different activities for the day, um, I set the goals to achieve for my coworkers. I have the five units with the supervisor for for uh, that each unit have a uh, a uh, once uh, once supervisor, and I set the goals for the shift for the day for the each unit. Uh, then I have to meet the uh, my staff and give the information give the different goals for the day and then i review the these goals uh, for two every two hours in the day um in my personal or particular activities uh, are prepared to employees for the different change prepare to production plans uh, prepare the different reports for the measurement results and present the different result for my boss um, and, the, and the others. Okay, very good, very good, Jorge. Excellent. Okay, Thanks. just be careful um, with the word. I know this one's a hard word, but um, the word is production. Produ uh, uh, so production, mm -hmm. but very good. Excellent. Bravo. Okay. Anybody else want to share? Yes. Okay. I can share. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I'm working in the call center. In my position is data is data analyst. I give my service to three countries: Australia, United States, and here El Salvador. And I, in my case, I have to some responsibilities. I have to send reports because it's a call center. I have to send a direct daily reports. And those, those reports have to information about a invoice in the case for managers information. And the operation information is a, a schedule, the schedule from the real hours use from auxiliaries and others uh, times in the moment that uh, the agents use a long amount of day mm -hmm. and the whole day. And apart that, I had to, to send uh, information from the incomes, the cost, revenue, and the end at the end of each month and information the whole years because they have a monthly business review, a yearly business review. And those are some of my responsibilities. Okay, very good. Very good, Carlos, excellent. Um, okay, so another one of those words that it's very confusing, I get it, is um, data. Okay, so we pronounce it data, um, although it sounds like it could be data, but it's actually data, data, okay? Data, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, 
Um, oh, and another one. Again, uh, one that is very commonly, um, um, you know, mis uh, mispronounces um, Australia. Australia, not Austra, but Australia. Okay, and also the U is not is not um, pronounced. It's not you don't say Australia. It's us, Australia. Okay, so the U is silent, and we pronounce like a like a Australia. Australia. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Okay, so we're gonna move on because time is catching up to us. So let's move on to the next part, which is a conversation between Jane and Tim. Okay. Um, so I want you to listen and repeat as I mentioned the, the as I read the, 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 the conversation. And you can open your, your microphones so long as you, um, you're sure that your the the ambient like the um the noise around you is not so much that it's going to be distracting for your other classmates. Okay, all right. So if you can open your microphone, that's great because that way I can hear you and I can help you with the pronunciation. But if you think that your surroundings might be a little too distracting, then it's okay. You can just keep your your microphones off. Okay. All right, here we go. Tim, did you hear? Tim, did you hear? Did you hear? No one from Frank's team. No, no one, one from, from Frank's, Frank's team. Team, team is getting the bonus this month. Is getting, getting the bonus, the bonus this month. This month. 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 month, yeah. So it's it's ah, uh, not not more. It's not month, month. but month. Month. month, month, month. Good. Is he the man who sits? Is he, is the, he man the man who, who sits, sits, sits next to you for lunch? Next, next to, you, to lunch. you for lunch. Precisely. 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 He is the advocate of the theory X. He is the advocate of the theory X. Who thinks every single employee is lazy. Who thinks every single employee is lazy. Is lazy. Is lazy. Will his team... Well, his team, his team won't go too far. Won't, won't go, too far. go too far. If he thinks, <clears throat> sorry, if, if, he, if, he, if he, he thinks, thinks, thinks like, like that, that, like, like that. that, I personally prefer. I personally, I personally prefer, prefer, prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one. I'm the one. Who makes decisions? Who makes decisions? Who makes decisions? In the best interest of my team. In the best interest of my team. Me too. Me too. Me too. But I hear John from sales. But, but I, I hear John, John from sales. sales. Oh, sales. Is having a lot of success. Is having, having a lot of success. success. With the laissez faire. With, With the laissez faire. The what? The what? The what? The what? The what? You know, like John. You, you know, know, like John. John. Like John. The laid back manager. The laid back, laid -back, laid -back, laid -back manager. manager. Who takes the back seat role. Who, who takes, takes the, the back, back seat, seat role. Seat role. role. Oh, I know. oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I heard he is the manager. 
hierarchy is the manager. Who lets his subordinates? Who lets his subordinates? Subordinates. Subordinates. Do whatever they want. Whatever they want. Whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him. Yeah, we yeah, may want to ask him. We might want, want to ask him. How he does it. How, how he does it. Does. 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 For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. All right. Very good. Bravo. Okay. Any questions about this? Yeah. Can you repeat the, the term lazy bear? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So this is, uh, if, if you probably have already figured it out, I don't know. This is actually not a real English word. Okay. This is actually a word that has been borrowed from the French. Okay. So this is actually a French word, but as English borrows a lot of words from different languages. One of these words is a French word, is laissez-faire. 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 Yeah, laissez-faire. Okay. okay. Many of the French words Sorry. though. Huh? Sorry. And what's the meaning? Um, <laughs> yeah. In French. In French, it means uh, do it lazy, like do it mm. uh, like laid back, do it in a okay. in a way that um, mm -hmm. lazy fair and laid back are synonyms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But but okay. but but lazy fair is. It's a negative sense. Yeah, exactly. Like mm -hmm, exactly. Whereas laid back can be actually positive. If I'm oh. if I'm laid back, it means that I'm like, um, I'm just like relaxed and like I I go with the flow. But laissez faire is kind of like being like lazy. Okay. Okay. It's so like you take you take you 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 laid back, but because you don't want to do very much work. That's less affair. Nice, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions that you guys have? And the pronunciation of su subordinate, subordinate. 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 Mm -hmm. Supporting okay. it. Uh -huh. Supporting it. Okay. All right. No other questions? Teacher, uh, sorry, uh, pronunciation, uh, I'm more paternalized. Ah, paternalized? Paternalized. I'm sorry. No, but a momentito. Where is it? Paternalistic. 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 Thank yeah, you. Yeah, paternalistic. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Brisley? Pronunciation? Which one? Uh, I think it's precisely. Oh. Precisely. Yes. This one. Precisely. How? Oh. Precisely. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I think. Let, so sorry. So from what we have been discussing already, I think it's pretty. You you should be able to do this without any problem. So let's try to to match match the managerial styles to the description. Okay, and we can do this together. 
So we have democratic, paternalistic, theory Y, theory X, laissez-faire, autocratic. So the first one is, uh, the first uh, definition is the management style where the manager retains full control. There's the, 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 the key there is the word full control. Then we have employees are encouraged to participate and influence decision-making. Then we have managers make decisions in the best interests of their workers. Little or no direction is provided by the manager. Managers think workers are lazy and don't like to work. And uh, managers who think staff like to work and are motivated by different factors. Okay, so let's start with the first one, democratic. Which one do you think is democratic? The second one. Is second employee. one, yeah. The second one? Employees uh, are encouraged to participate and influence decisions making. Good, yes, exactly, right? Just like a, like a democracy, right? That's the idea, right? Having like a democracy so everybody has uh, something to say, right? And to contribute. Okay, then we have paternalistic. Which one do you think is paternalistic? The... Your main decisions in the best interest of the workers. Yeah, managers make the, their decisions in the best interest of their workers, right? So. Um, just like a like a father, right? Father making the decision, but their the father makes a decision because they, they love their children. They make good decisions for their children. So it's the same idea, right? So the the managers are making good decisions because they're looking for the best interests of the workers. And then we have theory why. Actually, for this one, I'm going to have to go back to the, let's see. So it says here, the advocate of theory Y, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Theory, sorry, that's theory X, sorry, that's theory X. Yes, that's theory X. So what do you guys think? Theory X will be the manager thinks workers are lazy. Mm. It seems like theory Y is the opposite of theory X. Correct. So the the theory Y is the last one, and theory X is the the bulb of that. Okay, so which one is theory Y? The last one. Managers staff think that staff like to work and are motivated by yes. different factors? Yeah. Do you agree? Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Something yeah. like the opposite of theory Y, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it would be this one. Okay. And which one is theory X then? Many of think workers are lazy and don't like to work. Right, exactly. Which one is Liz Affair? Leader or not direction is provided by the manager. Yeah, exactly. Little and no direction is provided by the manager. And which one is autocrat autocratic? Style where the manager retains full control. 
Yeah, exactly. That's why the word auto, autocratic just means like one, right? Okay. So, and he doesn't, he's, he doesn't care about what's best interest. He just does whatever he thinks he likes, basically. Okay. So there we go. That's it, guys. So we have come to the end of our class. Um, let me just, like I said before, I'm going to take attendance in the sense that I'm going to read the names of the people that I see are uh, connected. And all you got to do, turn on your camera, say present. So I can see Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernandez. Present. Okay. Carlos Mauricio Menjibar. Present. Maur eh, sorry, eh, em Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present. Okay. Uh, Iliana Rebeca Carpio. Present. Okay. Um, Jorge Antonio Sanchez Quiñones Present teacher Excellent. Jose Bernardo López Present Great um, Jose Carlos Argueta Present Excellent. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla Present teacher Okay. Um, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Present, Miss. Okay. Present. Very good. Um, Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present. Thank you. Um, Mirna Elizabeth Alvarenga. Present. Okay, thank you. And Nelson Alberto Perez. So, Peraza, per sorry. Present, teacher. Sorry, I keep on changing your last name. Don't worry. Uh, um, Os Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sigfrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher. Wonderful. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Bueno, chicos, gracias. And that would be all. Um, creo que entonces um, sería Carlos, Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Si gusta, se puede quedar entonces para, eh, si tiene alguna pregunta, podemos ayudarle. Ahí. Okay, everybody else, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Have okay. a good okay. night. Have a good Bye. night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Sorry, my, my assistant, no, no pronunciation, my name, Josman. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, Josman Antilia mm -hmm. Serrano. Yeah. <laughs> you can say present. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You can say present, so. Okay, present. There we go. Okay, perfect. Present. All right, All right. see ya. Ok, uh, Carlos Alberto, ok. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Pues bien, teacher, aquí finalizando la segunda clase. <laughs> ok, very good, very good. Ok, uh, how do you feel with the class? Eh, no, teacher, uh, um, um, my problem is... Uh, um, I think uh, a pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, 
how do you feel right now like with the class do you feel that you are improving on the pronunciation yes uh for example uh, i my difficult is uh, uh the connectors and, and different different words okay okay connectors so uh using words like and but because so things like that yes mm -hmm. okay all right do you usually use connectors in your everyday speech in spanish uh, sometimes okay so something that's going to help you to to remember how to use them in English and sound more natural is if you use them more naturally in Spanish. So one thing that you can do then is try to use connectors in Spanish. So when you are talking to someone, you're telling them a story, try to use the connectors. Like, so try to say things like, um, eh, y por esa razón, so try to use that and when you do that your brain will start thinking about how to connect ideas in Spanish and then when you it's easy for you to do in Spanish your brain is going to start doing it automatically in English too Yes, and in, in Spanish, I always in, in different conversation, I use the connector. In oh, you Spanish. do. Okay, okay, good, good, good. So, um, what you can do then is write down um the connectors that you're having more trouble with. Like, which ones are the ones that you're having more problems with? Which connectors are, are more difficult for you? Um, if for example, about. About? Uh-huh, about. Okay, so so that's not really a connector. About is a means um, acerca de. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Okay. connectors are words that connect ideas together. So like words like however, because, so, consequently, as a result, um, it, although, so they, they connect ideas. Okay, okay. so, okay. so okay. what I, I suggest you can do is start writing down the words that is difficult for you to use. Which ones are the ones that you rarely use? And then make more sentences like that. Try to concentrate on making sentences with those. Does that make sense? Okay, teacher. Okay. So, so write a list. Escriba esa lista de esos verbos. Es bueno, de esos um, conectores que le está costando más. And try to use okay. them. Okay, and like maybe you can try like every day, say, okay, today I'm going to try to use more this connector. Tomorrow, another connector. Okay? Okay, okay, Bye por días. perfect. Okay? Okay. All right, anything else I can help you with? Only that, teacher. You sure? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, in that case, um, Carlos Alberto, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher.